The preliminaries are just about over, and there's the bell. Eric Darkstorm, Sugar Shane Storm on NWA Mountain State. Jason get the gift Kincaid urging the fans on. These guys locking up mid-ring from a side headlock to a hammerlock. The Wizzle, Fireman's Carry. Good basics foundation, leg scissors now. These guys are gonna work it out. Move for move, counter for counter. Eric, and Eric Darkstorm now extending Shane Storm's left arm and prompting a rope break. A lot of good basic submission style maneuvers early on in this one. Very slow, very cautious. Both men playing it very close. The larger Dark Storm takes Chain Storm to the mat. Front face lock applied. And look at Storm move. Some good fundamental background wrestling action on part of both of these guys. Nice reversals. Both men fleet on their feet. Pushing for advantages. And these reversals are uncommon too. These aren't your Kmart variety reversals, guys. These are custom shop maneuvers here. Nice somersault flip through holding the arm there. That had to add a lot of extra damage to those deltoid muscles, maybe even to the triceps. Alabama roll. Storm works his way out, but Dark Storm still has a hold of the left arm. Very strong strategy, very classic strategy. We're going to see Jason. To quote you earlier, very reminiscent of the Andersons and a lot of the old timers. They picked one part of the body and they focused on it. A lot of times it was the arms. If you can't do anything with your arms, that takes away a lot. Unless you're a kickboxer, it kind of screws you really in the long run. You're going to see the gift Jason Kincaid in singles competition. I believe coming up next, actually. European uppercut sending Storm to the corner. Dark Storm's gonna shoot him across. Holding pattern, he runs in. Whoa, catches the boot. That's what that holding pattern costs you. Oh, spinning heel kick sends Storm to the mat. He drags him over to the, did you see it? Drags him over to the center. Two count courtesy of Elvis. Thank you very much. Jason Kincaid offering words of encouragement to his tag team partner and Dark Gift. Wow, a Storm doing a jawbreaker. Buying himself a little bit of time to get a plan together. Whoa, maybe not enough. Shane Storm with a great victory over 3BL on last week's broadcast. Looking to capitalize on a win over Eric Dark Storm. Would really send him up the ladder of contention. He eats shoe leather. He eats shoe leather twice. Nice. Nicely done by Mr. Darkstorm. Very nicely done by Eric Darkstorm. Don't count Shane Storm out. We saw him absorb so much punishment and still get the win last week over Buddy Love. Against all freaking odds, that was dumb luck. Plain and simple. Cross faces no now. About it. Whoa, Darkstorm now with a Kevin Sullivan stomp. A little bit of frustration that he can't put Shane Storm away. And you see the look of frustration coming across the face of Eric Darkstorm. Darkstorm lifting Shane back up. Oh, and big chop. Big, big yeah. chop, big chop, big chop. We're going to see a couple of them, I think. There's one. One more. Three more. Tip for Tad here. Off the wrist, reverse on the Irish whip. Nice drop kick by Eric Darkstorm. Another one sends Shane Storm to the mat. Hurts him up, one more whip across the ribs, a reversal by Shane. Goes behind, full Nelson, reversal again, and he falls over top of them, arm across the throat, and just fell forward. All the momentum, and that was all she wrote. That was a beautifully executed technical maneuver. Jason Kincaid cheers him on. They're looking for some straps, and they're looking for the NWA Mountain State Wrestling Tag Team straps, and then they're looking to take the game higher. Very nice match between Eric Darkstorm and Shane Storm. They're sizing him up, congratulating him maybe, offering to buy him a congratulatory dinner. 
That wasn't bad. Let's shake in the hand. Very good. That was very good sportsmanship on behalf of Eric Darkstorm. Really? Shane Storm put up a very valiant effort in this match. It does the heart good to see that. Dark City Fight Club. Well, that's a matter of opinion. But you're looking at the best in the world. Nonetheless, Shane escapes with his life intact.